Hello everyone and welcome to Jojo's Brick Time. I have been busy doing some modifications of my flower shop and bubble tea shop and thank you Mickey, yes the donut shop. Let's take a look and see what I've done. Let's recap and see what the flower shop looked like before. So I love the look of it but for my city I needed to put story number three on I felt it needed it so let's see for this rebuild I used up parts that I had and I had to do a brickling quarter for some things so here I removed the door and the little balcony that was there and just put the panel in you can put the window in if you like but I used up a panel I had and I popped the door on this side because this is where I want the entrance to be and then up here I am going to put the balcony on the third floor. I really loved the look of the flower shop at the front and I wanted to keep that theme going on for the third story. I pulled off these sloped bricks that were there and just added the tiling and studded tiles as well. It just didn't look right having the slope there with the third level. But anyway, let's see inside. And this is still going to be Addie's apartment. I've just added in an extra picture there and then a hanging plant in the kitchen. There needs to be a doormat there and a little side cupboard I guess. I just used the Technic Holy bricks there and I made this big plant because she loves plants because she lives above the flower shop. Simple little blue couch. I love that azure blue colour. I thought that will add a splash of colour in for the apartment. Little pillow and she's still reading the design magazine. And she has a cloud fluffy rug there. A little coffee table and a bubble tea. I just uh, drew those dots on with one of my um, special markers that I have. I needed more bubble teas. And a simple kitchen with some yellow tiling on top. A little sink here, same tiling there it here in the corner. She needs a little fridge and I tiled the top of that so the fridge is like an under bench fridge and a little stove top with flying spoons. So that's Addie's apartment. She is loving the colour scheme. Very retro looking. Let's take a look at the third floor. Now here I use these little parts and that's so I can have the planter boxes on top. That was the only way that I could think of to put them up here with the parts I had, but it turned out well. Now the windows. I really wanted to use up these windows that I had, but they just did not look right up here. And then I wanted to put the balcony here. I could not make it look right because of the new style windows that are only three studs wide. So I had to go on Bricklink and order these extra windows in and they were very expensive. They were almost $3 each. And then I ordered the extra yellow tiles and the slope bits. See, I just could not make it look right because of the size. And I think it looks better being symmetrical now. So this is what it looks like on this side. And this side will have that curved balcony because I really loved that balcony. So I'm popping that in here. There, got to use up some of the parts. Now she can go out there. And I did a vine that's going all the way up the side of the building because I needed extra colour. I just clip it on the balcony there. And I had lots of those blue flowers. In here I did a little bathroom because every one of my houses need a little bathroom, little mirror and then I made this little basin and used up lots of taps for legs. So that just goes there. There is a toilet in there too. Little low lying bed because I don't want to take up too much room. Just used up parts I had 
and then I made little bedside tables with the holy bricks again and just used plates over here to make it look like drawers and I popped a little vase on that one same bedside table on this side this one just has a little lamp so that is the third level oh I'm loving the look of this apartment I think it needed to be three stories high it just looks stunning now symmetrical I love it and oh I forgot this old-fashioned chandelier that I made that needs to go in the lounge area because I tried to make it look a little bit old and retro so that's it there. Now this little area bugged me. It was empty at the bottom and top. It was just a waste of space. And I'm like, oh, how can I fill it in with something? So I tried rebuilding it about 100 times because it just wasn't working out. And I love the tiling at the front, so I kept that look. So this is what I came up with. I kept that same pattern because I really liked it and I wanted to use up all the parts that came with the set. Now here, I had to extend it by eight studs deep. This is to fit that little bubble tea shop in under the stairs. If you have big window pieces, you can use up window pieces there. I had these spare from the hairdresser salon, so I wanted to put that scooter park there. So you can see the little tiny bubble tea shop in there. I used up bricks that I had, so that's why I made it yellow and the dark pink, because I love those colours together, and the little green and pink balls up the walls there just makes it look cute. Took a while to work out how to fit it all under there, but I did. And then I just kept the little table and chairs that came with it and used the little bubble tea guy. I pulled the sticker off the back of him because I'm using that somewhere else. So he just sits there and I repurposed the little park benches and the water fountains. I love the look of that. I really love those rainbow stairs so I had to keep them in. That was really hard to do. Anyway, this is the side bit. If you've got windows, you can pop windows in there so you can save on bricks and panels. I use the white panel because I had quite a few of them. And this is the bubble tea shop. I made this uh, little Mr. Whippy type machine there on the side in the green so you can froth out some whipped cream and other stuff so this is how I built it so I've made a little void there and I popped the little sprinkles in and more bubble teas but I made the void so I could fit in this little fridge so it's more like a chest type fridge freezer and then that goes here over the top so it all fits in nicely made a little counter and there's the sticker off the little bubble tea guy so it's like the little drinks menu and price menu. I tiled the floor to make it look like fairy floss and then I put in this bulletin board. So everyone brings in their little magazine clippings and missing cat. We've got lots of signs there and there is a newspaper there, Donut Thief. So I just use one of those plates that's sort of like a tile I guess. So that goes on there. And that's the little bubble tea shop and Matilda is happy to work here when she's not driving her little bubble tea van. Alrighty now this area. Now I wanted <laughs> to put a hairdresser up here but there just was not enough room and then I wanted to use up all the stuff that came with the set. So this is how I higgledy piggledy put everything together and used up um, all those Technic bricks that came with the set. And I wanted to use up as many of the parts that came with the set also and then include those stairs because I loved those rainbow stairs. I had to keep them. 
And here was that little ledge bit for the downtown store. So I just put a plate there to increase the floor space. And then it keeps the building all connected together, I guess. So I can't really pull this part, this apart, I guess. But I didn't want to anyway. So now is the donut shop. So this is what I came up with. It looks weird at the moment, but this is what the floor looked like. So I used the eight by 16 plate there and another little plate there. I used up all the parts that came with the donut shop plus many more. So I popped in a little door there and then I put those little flat round tiles in the long bricks for added color. The little servery window there, that little window and panel came with the set. And then on this side, I had a spare one from one of my main streets. So I just popped in the big window there to save on bricks as well. And then I did that little awning over the top with the different colours. And that glass um, bit at the top, that's from the hairdresser set. And then I wanted to keep that donut sign in because I love the donut sign. Then I just filled in these parts with spare bricks that I had and then up here is just a storage room for boxes and the paints because I thought Addie's moved in she doesn't need any of that so this is the inside of the donut shop we have the little fridge that came with it but I made like a little juice blender so we're doing juices as well now I guess that's like a little soft serve machine there's a little cash register there and I'm going to pop in these yummy donuts. Leo has another job and he's going to be working at this donut shop. So this is what it looks like. And that little tile there is a doormat for Addie's apartment. So I'm going to just stick this on top now. I love that I could use this wasted space up. So now I use my little donut shop set and it looks so colourful and cute. Let's pop the flower shop in and connect it all. And I need to connect um, the little vine at the back there also. So what do you think? I think it looks a lot better now. And that's why the roof looked all weird on the donut shop. Donut thief has come. No, it's just me holding the newspaper clipping. And I've popped everyone in now to enjoy the new street. I love using up little sets that I normally wouldn't use and make bigger things out of them. I love the little bubble tea van thing. I thought, nah, I need a bubble tea shop. And the little donut shop was just too cute not to make a bigger shop out of. And I think it fits perfectly amongst the downtown store and the flower shop. Oh, and Addie's apartment's a lot bigger now too. So I hope I've given you some ideas on how you can modify yours. So everyone, get your bricks out, get building and get creative.